Okay, let's see what I can do next. Perfect second out in forests. Have you? There's borrowing to be done. Three of Starrick's henchmen are about to disappear. Oh, you sly devil. Oh, and I'm coming along this time. There is no sense in giving you all the glory. Off to my carriage we go, Lewis! Cowardly fools under Steric have built their own prisons. It's a dreadful waste. They could be building gangs instead. No, no, no. Why build when you can ebb and flow like the sea? I would not deign to pin them down. Oh, you wouldn't, would you? What about your bird? It's not building. I dare say I shall never tire of the National Gallery. Why does Starrick interest himself with art? Bring your carriage around and wait for the cargo. I shan't be very long. Someone around here must know Miss Hattie Cadwallader. I'm looking for Miss Hattie Cadwallader. I ain't seen her. I know what she's been up to, though. And what's that? Friggin' art, sir. She benched a statue not far from here. The statue must be around here somewhere. Hey, Smalley. Know anything about what happened here? Oh, Miss Cadwallader? She hunts down the sewers, no sir. To apologize. Of course it's sewers. <laughs> Why the bloody sewers? Just knock him out instead. We have visitors. Well, yeah. well, can't avoid that anymore. <laughs> God damn it. Right. Wasn't Starrick who sent me? Then who? Maxwell Roth sent his regards. Oh, 
Tend to disappear without warning. Sounds like we'll be fast friends. Be careful. His guards are never far away. this did Roth send you the villain you have your villains mixed up mr. raffles the man you work for is the real villain here
Okay, I made it. My most fragrant refuse. How very good to see you again. Make a sound and it'll be your last. Got a well, Roth. It's into the back with you, then. Who is this Lyris that works for you? Ha! A bit of an odd fish, isn't it? Came to me a few years past. He's very solemn. But always so polite. And he has many other talents. Who am I looking for? Chester Swinehorn. A copper by day, and snitch by night. Remove him from the pack, and you cut Steric's ties to the police force. Must be good at what he does to keep the charade going for so long. He is indeed, dear boy. Bobbies give me goose flesh. Welcome to Scotland, Yard. Swineborn, let's not make a scene. You're not going to get away with this. Oh, but I am. Where are you taking me? A friend would like to say a quick how do you do. And there's a guy up front. Damn it. Or fucking back door. Yes. Go that way. And he's walking this way. God damn it. Ah, 
Oh, come on. God damn it. Are you kidding me? They stopped there? Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. Excellent work. Do come find me at the Elabra. I have more amusements planned for us.
Remember Peter Need. This way, my dear. I've something to show you. Hop in. Where are we going? One of Starik's workshops, where they build weapons for his army. When the world is full of nasty things, we must tear those things apart. Like Starrick builds a world around his own. Doing fine, girl. In you. you must see the potential, dear Jacob. This workshop is one of Starrick's. Set the dynamite and let's blow it to atoms. Together.
Might as well kill everyone inside. <laughs> One. <sighs> Certainly asking for a lot to <laughs> not kill anyone while I'm doing this. Of course, I could have used the uh, smoke bombs, but I don't know. Rigged up. Perfect. Let's put our plan into action. Stand back. Ready. Wait. Whatever for? There are children in there. Jacob, my dear. Starrick uses child labor to manufacture goods. We must put an end to his production line. I'm not like this. Why not? I can do whatever I damn well please. Soon. You will understand what it is to be free, as I am. Light them up, boys! No! What the hell are you doing? We're not playing games anymore, Roth! No. We're not. Ah, oh, shit! Oh, 
you get. Move quickly. No time to idle. Please. You should be warned, Mr. Fry, that when Roth is angry with one, he generally brings suffering to many. My dearest Jacob, alas, it seems our adventures together have come to a close. Although our time together was brief, it's left a lasting mark. I wish you well in all your future endeavors. Cordially, Maxwell. Post scriptum. I'm putting on a show this evening. All of London will be there. Enclosed, please find your invitation. mission of the sequence. Final lap.
for tonight's performance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Alhambra Music Hall. Tonight, we have, for one night only, a very special performance of Corvus the Trickster. That's While some you. of the effects may be visceral and highly disturbing, do not be alarmed, <laughs> my good people. Nice to be included in SS. This is a reference. purest form of entertainment. Tonight's performance immortalizes and is for the benefit of a young fellow very near and dear to my heart. Any concerns or complaints may be addressed to him. <laughs> Jacob, dear boy, tonight is for you. This evening, gentlemen. You're still here, love. Last time, I swear, you nearly poisoned us. Scene two, stand by. Jacob. You lie. 
lucky people are about to witness this gentleman being fired upon at point blank range. Our performer will hit several targets placed around his head. Exciting, is it not? A suitably flat-headed gentleman for this one. <laughs> you, you laugh, ladies and gentlemen, but I assure That's you that day, is the case. Tom Watchley. I have no doubt that you could hazard a guess as to what this one concerns, my friend. Our courageous participant hasn't even flinched. Standing a few feet away, our performer expertly throws his knives at the apple, slicing it in two. Will he or won't he? Where's the rafter I was supposed to get on to?
your evening so far, ladies and gentlemen. I know I have. Now, before our final act, I would like to toast all you brave people who joined us tonight to celebrate life and death. Go on! Toast them! <laughs> your move, Jacob, my dear! Burn! What an Trying to target him. There we go. Darling, what a night. The stuff of legends. Why did you do it? All of it. What? Snap a baby crow's neck between my thumb and forefinger. Slice to bits the ones you deem innocent. Keep the world in its divine, manic state. For the same reason, I do anything. Oh, God. Why not? <laughs> I'll 
I'll never make it out alive. What the hell? Why is it leading me to like different locations? Oh, for fuck's sake, Damn please. What the hell? I just hope I'm not stuck here for like a long amount of time. Is... I'll never make it out alive. Oh fuck! What a nightmare! Check Alright, sorry about that. Back to the game. Damn this place from hell to hackney. Holy crap. How am I supposed to get out of here? What a nightmare! Please let this be an exit. Ah, uh, well, at least I found the way out. I hope. Thank you.
algebra disorder. The sea rises to flood the pubs and extinguish the street lamps. Our city will die. Tupiné has failed. Lucy has failed. Brudenell Elliotson. Pearl. All have gone into the night. It is up to me now. The assassins have brought nature's fury into our homes. Men have become monsters. Barreling toward us, teeth out. Our civilization must survive this onslaught. To prevent a return of the Dark Ages, I will start anew. London must be reborn. You're late. Starek is making his move. The piece of Eden is somewhere inside Buckingham Palace. Let him have it. I've seen your handiwork across the city. Perhaps you should trust my judgment. I've been killing Starek's henchmen. What have you been doing? Let's ask Henry, shall we? I have been repairing your mistakes. Too much haste is too little speed. Don't you call father at me. That's Plato. And I am sorry, this doesn't involve anything you can destroy. Father was right, he never approved of your methods! Father is dead! Enough! I have just received word from my spies. At the palace ball tonight, Staric plans to steal the piece of Eden, and then eliminate all the heads of church and state. Once more, for all time's sake. And then we're finished. Agreed. So what's the plan? Such an unexpected delight to visit you both. What is the news on the street? Mrs. Disraeli, we have discovered that there is something inside Buckingham Palace that could threaten the... <laughs> what my sister's failing to say is that we require entrance into the ball tonight. Impossible! Even if there were any invitation cards remaining, which there are not, uh, someone of your lowly station... If that damn fool Gladstone is attending this evening, they can have my card. Perfect. Then I'll go alone. Mrs. Disraeli, if you'd be kind enough to inform my darling brother of the location of the Gladstone's residence, perhaps he could use his considerable skills to commandeer their cards. <laughs> what fun! Did you hear that, Dizzy? We're going to pinch the Gladstone's invitations. Thank you for volunteering me, sweet sister. Oh, a pleasure, brother, dearest. Now, Mrs. Disraeli, if you would excuse me, I must visit with the Maharaja. It occurs to me that he may have a second set of plans to a certain vault.
Alright, so where is this last area? It's right here. Let me make some upgrades. First, let me restock on supplies. Use several med packs and oak bombs. Okay, still have plenty. Tonight, they must have taken the invitations with them. You wouldn't happen to have seen two carriages pass by here just now? I did, sir. One with a man in it, the other with a woman. They split up. Where did the man go? That way. Thank you. Right 
Look out! Easy girl! A private party event. Don't mind if I do. Stone can certainly make a speech. The man is a genius. Future Prime Minister, how do you do? That was my fault. I didn't mean to fucking kill that guy. He's not supposed to be here! The man leads with strength, not laziness. A shame the remainder of Parliament cannot follow his example. Maybe I haven't been quite as delicate as I could have been, but still. At the train station. Mrs. Gladstone's under guard. Better be cautious. Better wait until she's alone. my chance. One should not attend the Queen's Ball without making a proper entrance.
Now for the invitations. What's this? Swords must be left at the door by order of the Queen. Freddy will know what to do. Oh, come on, please. Quite a carriage you got there. Where did you buy it, if, if you don't mind me asking? Ask all you want, Freddy. You'll never get an answer. Damn it all. Was it my eyebrows? Yes, and your face, voice, and body. Look, I've got an invitation to the Queen's Ball tonight. How did you come by that? Freddy, there's to be an attack on the ball. I need to smuggle some weapons inside to prevent it. Supposing I believe you? Only the Royal Guard carries weapons. So? Too easy. For God's sake, Freddy. Fine. I require a guard's uniform. Done. I knew you'd come through. Just promise me, Jacob, that you will return Mr. Gladstone's coach. Of course. Out the Royal Guard. Oh boy. If I can knock out one without alerting the others, then I'm good. Done. Gotta be a guard that he's not next to anyone.
Not Metal Gear Solid mechanics, I can tell you that. The good part is I knocked them out. Next, I need to wait for them to get out of the way. Damn it. Fucking kidding me. You better hope I don't find you. Careful, he fights dirty. He'll God! Ready? Here I come. Ah, that was a mess. But I did it. One uniform as requested. It's still warm. My gift to you? I will meet you on the roof of Buckingham Palace. You're such a romantic.
Master Assassin, though. Yes, this is good. Where is this next mission? And unlock that viewpoint yet. Well, thank goodness for the zip line. So now I can use her chameleon ability. Level 9. See, I wonder here. This is the upgraded one. Oh, I already used up so much money on everything else. Delighted to see you again, Miss Fry. 
Your Highness, the plans detailing the renovations to Buckingham Palace have gone astray. I suppose you will have to make do with the copies. There are copies? Where? Uh, not so fast. First, I have a matter of some urgency. Carrying out my plan would require stealth and speed, qualities I know you possess. Time is of the essence, Your Highness. Then make this quick, my dear. The most influential men in Parliament remain beyond my reach. But these very men have sent for carriages to prepare for the ball tonight. Acquire an official carriage, and we shall drive the politicians to their destinations. Along the way, I will meet with them. And afterward, I shall tell you where to find the plans. You're a shrewd negotiator. One must be when one is so often underestimated. Right. Don't allow personal feelings to compromise the mission. What a mistake. Remembered he was all the way over on that side. Climb up, Your Highness. Where are we headed? Belgrave Square. Welcome, sir. Your Highness, what a surprise. <laughs> Is life not about embracing the unexpected? I shall take but a few moments of your time. A matter of utmost importance must be discussed. When the Commonwealth seized the Punjab from my people, it was not a seizure, but a right to transaction. Britain what the hell is this? Me. By robbing me of my kingdom, Parliament acted in violation of the treaty signed with my family. Here, read it. I... I was not aware. Read. That is all I ask. You are one of the few in a position to help. I will do... I trust you and your son will enjoy the ball this evening. He is newly returned from Delhi. I will share what we have discussed. It is most disconcerting. That proved quite valuable. Where to now? St. James's Park. I noticed Mr. Green did not accompany you. He has other things to attend to. Ah, a pity. You two seem to get along nicely. Well, that was a problem, you see. One must not allow personal feelings to compromise one's mission. That sounds like a quotation. It is. From my father. 
Ethan Fry. You knew him? No, unfortunately. But Mr. Green spoke of him. He sounded like an extraordinary man. He was, Your Highness. And your oh, mother shit. as well, Cecily Fry. She and your father were partners, inseparable. The only duo that came close to challenging Mr. Starrick. And very much in love, at least from the small amount I have been told. Cecily. I wish I could have met her. From what Mr. Green gathered, you share much in common. Your intelligence, for one. Father never spoke of her. What would Mr. Green like? He was only a boy when he trained with my father. Children can be quite perceptive, Miss Fry. Slowly. <laughs> Yes, sir. Good day, sir. Why, what are you doing here, Your Highness? I know how busy your days have been of late. A few moments of your time is all I require. This is all rather unorthodox, but continue. Britain was to protect me according to the treaty my family signed. Instead, she took my land. And now I hear Britain intends to strengthen her ties to India. Perhaps it is time to return the Punjab What the to hell is people. going on? The Queen has supplied you with an annual income for God knows how long, and now you bite the hand that feeds you? It is not a matter of money. Good day, sir. May God bless you. <laughs> I don't understand what, what all this commotion is about. To the Gladstone residence. Do you miss India? I remember that my mother smelled of cinnamon. And when she cradled me in her arms in the summer heat, I would hold so still that she fell asleep. When I lost my kingdom, it hurt. But truly, when they took my mother away... Good day, Mr. Gladstone. Mr. Singh! You are a hard man to pin down. I know what this is about. The politics have worn off. Majesty is tired of you. So now you come begging for scraps. You wound me deeply, sir. My people deserve freedom. I am here to fight for them. Why did you lose the Punjab? I shall tell you, Your Highness. We were outgunned, outmaneuvered, and simply outclassed. Yes, the Sikhs deserve freedom. I hope with British help and progress, they shall achieve it. Then why do they cry out for their king? Britain has a duty to bring about peace. It is an enormous responsibility. And I value your guidance ever. Much like your highness with your lobbying. I hope my advice has done some good. Far more than your policies thus far. But I hold out hope that you will make progress. My people are counting on it. All right, so what next? Thank you, Miss Fry, for forwarding my cause. Oh, you are welcome. I hope some good comes of it, despite Mr. Gladstone's vitriol. Those of us with the largest hearts protect them the most. Your father, for instance. From what I understand, he was extraordinarily sad. Broken, even, after your mother's passing. That kind of pain can blind us. Cause us to say outlandish things to protect the ones we love. It's time you returned this carriage and recovered those plans. They are located in Buckingham Palace. The Queen keeps them among her personal papers in the white drawing room. I wish you a good evening, Miss Evie Fry. And to you, Your Highness.
those coppers would believe their eyes. <laughs> Oh shit! They shot me! Oh, thank god. Looks like I'm already in the final mission. to remember. <laughs> At least I'm hoping this is the final mission. Of course he'd arrive in that. Miss Fry? Hand him your weapons. We must enter an armed. Sir, madam. Did I hear something? No, just the voices in your own head. And yet, they are so much more pleasant than yours. Charming. Aren't I? I shall go and find the piece of Eden. As you wish. 
I'm off to meet Freddy. Thank you. The plans are located in the white drawing room, which is most likely locked. The captain of the guard will have a key. Going there with the, those guards in the way. be another way upstairs. do this on my own. Now it tells me to kidnap a guard. <laughs> So close to the end. Closed, and this will be over before you know it. Who are you? Get away from here! Mm, curious. What's all that, man? What that's about. That hurts! What was that? What's happening over there? That hurts! That hurts! That hurts. Something is sorting over there. Gentle. The lady is with me. Much obliged. Madam. Gentle. Gentle. That hurts. Mm -hmm. 
my arm. That hurts. My arm. Gentle. My arm. Gentle. dreams. The plans are somewhere nearby. Now for the vault. Was I doing it right? Damn it. I fucked up. I don't think I was supposed to go that way. Perhaps I can kidnap that guy. As he turns around, I'm getting him. No noise, just walk. Jacob's most likely off stealing another carriage somewhere, or accidentally pushing the queen down a flight of stairs. <laughs> Someone I'm simply dying for you to meet. Uh, do, 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 do. come with me.
Your Majesty. May I in present Miss uh, Evie Fry? You're the one responsible for Mr. Gladstone's mishap. Your Majesty, I apologize. I... The cake is particularly good. Enjoy the ball. I really must be going. Miss Fry, may I have this dance? Mr. Starrick, you've had your fun, but the game is over. Uh -uh. Listen. One, two, three. One, two, three. Time is a wonderful thing, Miss Fry. It heals all wounds. We may make mistakes while dancing, but the mazurka ends, and then we begin again. Problem is, everyone forgets. They trip on the same mistakes over and over. People can learn. Can they? Isn't everyone around you? repeating the same steps. But if one man could remember the dance, could know the time, then he could change things for the better. I have had enough. This dance is nearly over. Soon, the people will forget the generation on this terrace. The ruin you nearly wrought on London When the music ceases, Miss Fry, your time is up, and mine begins. Freddy. Staric peppered the regulars with his own men and took several guards hostage. Your weapons are in there.
Look. Right. I'll kill the imposters and rescue the captives. How? It's impossible to tell the difference. Oh, ye of little faith. I'll get you out. Thank you, sir. Thanks, mate. What the hell was that? Bloody <laughs> shit! Move it! Hold still for a moment.
disband. The key to the waltz is one must lead with one's right foot. Oh, my! Everything all right, my dear? Do you require assistance? I never liked balls. <laughs> I took the key. Here, the location of the vault. Go! Just like that? No plan? No time for plans. I'll catch up as soon as I'm rid of this infernal contraption. Exploiting, I warn you, my boy. But you do not listen. Requiem's cart and pache. It's your famous word. me rectify my mistake.
How is he not dead? God, it was. This is just gonna be the same sequence over and over again. What the hell is this?
London will perish without me. You flatter yourself. I would have created a paradise. The city belongs to the people. You are but one man. I am at the very top of the order. You were, Mr. Starrick. <laughs> you were. Shame we won't be partners anymore. It's for the best, isn't it? Are you going to wear the shroud and run London? Whatever it gives, it takes from someone else. You'd continue to age without me. You'd become like father. A fate worse than death. Will you wear it? After you sorted out the boroughs, the chaos I caused, I couldn't compete. Jacob Fry stepping back. Who's blackmailing you? Is it George? He wouldn't dare. I've missed you. Me too. Would it be possible to continue where we left off? I'd love nothing more. I'm starting to think Father didn't know everything about everything. <laughs> Henry. It's a big world out there. With London in the center. Perhaps not the very center. I came as soon as I could. Uh, do not worry. I'll... I'll head back to the train. Did I... Did I jeopardize the mission? Henry, you saved it. <laughs> I think you belong in the field. With me. A carriage. Nicely done, Freddy. Mr. Abilene, please. Your Majesty. Miss Fry. You've met before? Did I never mention? Mr. Abilene informs me that you three are responsible for saving my life. Is this true? It is, Your Majesty. Evie Fry, step forward. And you? My brother, ma'am. Jacob Fry. And this is Mr. Henry Green. Mr. Fry? Mr. Green? Neil? Invest you all in the Order of the Sacred Garter. Thank you, Your Majesty. If you are as adept as Mr. Abilene implies, I may call on you. Sergeant Abilene tends to exaggerate, Your Majesty. We shall meet again. And Miss Fry. Ma'am? Should you want it? I saved you some cake. <laughs> Father would be proud of you. <laughs> Dame Evie Fry. <laughs> Sir Jacob Fry. <laughs> Race you to the train. You're on.
That's a pretty decent ending. That's it. It's under the palace. Time to go. Alright, let's see what the present day story has to offer. Let's get the shroud to Dr. Grammatica immediately. Sigma team beat us here. We're too late. What do we do? Killing really is the least productive way to achieve our goals. Underground, underground, Kill them all. Leave them Contact! Cover me! That skinny piece of shit tried to murder me, Berg. Them I want him to bleed. That told us lies of their bravery. <clears throat> them that preached of progress and put us in the poor house. <clears throat> them that done the horrid murder on bloody stages. <clears throat> them that loudly crow their humility. <clears throat> Lords and dames that suck <clears throat> on chapels on some day. <clears throat> All quiet now, their mouths are stopped up. <clears throat> Only the mission matters. Understood. Those who fought for something those who taught by how they live. Loved ones taken long. Ah, she shot. Galena, we need an exit. Secure the vault. Our targets are righteous. We need to go now. Understood. Forget the bloody shroud. Stay with me, Bex. Please. We go. Good work in there, Initiate. In time, we will recover the shroud. And hey, we pulled a feed from our bug in Isabel's computer before they shut us out. Playing it now. hell is this? Sorry about the mess. <laughs> so, how's the Shroud gonna help you create a new clone? It's not. When the Shroud is wrapped around the body, it scans it for damage and then reconstructs it on a cellular level. You're not making a clone. You're gonna recreate a precursor from scratch. Bingo! The Phoenix Project timetable just got accelerated big time. I'm going to call Alan Rick and deliver the good news. <laughs> it's like Christmas! Hello? It's me? Brought the shroud as you asked, but I'm scared. Do not fear me. You've done well. You know? I'm not scared of you. I'm scared for you. Anyone finds out what you've been doing. You have played your part, my instrument. I will save you. I will save you all. Ah, so new memories with Queen Victoria. Oh, that was certainly enjoyable. All right. Well, overall, I think uh, Jacob and Evie, Evie Fry are the most, uh, I would say, the more likable characters since Ezio. Plus, this game performs a lot, uh, a lot better than Unity did last year. 
Plus, I also like uh, the zipline movement, which uh, carries around the city a lot faster than before. Instead of having to climb up a building, it takes seconds to get up to the top. Alright, well, anyway, uh, thanks for coming to the stream. We'll do some more of these uh, next time. If you want to follow me on Twitter, uh, follow me at, at Lucifade70226. Check out my YouTube channel, uh, as well as uh, follow me. My uh, streams on Twitch as well. Alright, see you guys later. Have a good night.